Hey everyone. Hi, David. Uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to Rural Vision. I think for the second or third time, I don't remember. It's definitely the second time I'm interviewing someone from Nickel, a crypto investment management firm based in London. Um, I think I interviewed and spoke with Natalie probably more than a year ago. But before we get going, my name is Marit Siebert. I'm the CIO of Exponential Age Investment Management, a crypto investment management firm just like yourselves, maybe with a different angle. Um, and before we get going, David, give us a little bit of a background um, about yourself. You know, what do you do at Nickel? What fund do you run? How did you get there? Just, you know, uh, educate the audience um, as to what it is that you do. Yeah, with pleasure. And thank you very much for having me. Um, th this should be fun. I, my name is David Fauchier. I'm a PM at Nickel. Uh, Nickel Digital is a London-based uh, crypto-focused asset management firm um, regulated here by the FCA. And we've run a number of different products, um, one of which is a multi-manager, multi-strategy fund, um, which I'm the PM of called Diversified Alpha. And previous to this, I ran a fund of funds in the crypto space um, and, and have been in crypto for, for quite a while now. Well, what does for, for quite a while mean? I mean, when did you, uh, like 2009, 2010, like the Genesis block type of uh, time frame, or when, when did you get down? 2008, like everybody else. <laughs> uh, First, first started looking at researching and like, you know, buying your first Bitcoin and all of this in 20, late 2012. So it's going to be a decade. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's 2013 for me. Time flies. Uh, you know, I was like yesterday I gave a presentation here in Munich. People were asking me, when did you get involved in cryptos? And I was like, wait, 2013, I, you know, I bought the first Bitcoins because you could, you could really easily afford multiple yeah. coins back then. Uh, but that doesn't really mean a lot because, you know, as soon as the thing made, you know, 2x, 3x, 4x, uh, you know, you feel like a rock star and you kind of like you have to get out of the thing and realize the games. <laughs> now, with the benefit of hindsight, you know, it's, you know, you would have done it differently. But anyway, hey, let's speak about uh, Nickel. Let's speak about your fund. Um, I'm running this series on, you know, interviewing some of the most exciting crypto hedge fund managers in the world. So I rank you among them. And we'd like to understand a little bit better about you know, the way you trade, the way you view the market, uh, how you select managers, how you select trading strategies. But before we like go into all the details, maybe you uh, let us know again, the, the name of the fund that you run, the objective of the fund, uh, since when it exists, just the basics. Sure, so we're a little bit limited on, on what we can say publicly, but um, as you'll see from the website, the fund is called Diversified Alpha. It's a multi-strategy, multi-manager fund, um, which is a mouthful but that really means we are running multiple different strategies and we do that by allocating to uh, external or internal managers who each run a piece of the book as a managed account for us. And what we're trying to do as a whole with the portfolio is to achieve non-directional, uncorrelated returns uh, to, the bit, to the crypto markets in general. Am I correct in saying that it's probably like an LP type of structure, so it's a pooled structure, but inside that pooled structure, you have a bunch of managed accounts to which that fund points? Exactly. And it's a little bit different to how an SMA would work in the traditional space, but it's sort of the crypto equivalent of a, a managed account um, where all of the funds are inside uh, the fund's control. So they're inside our control, even though they're managed by external managers. And those funds actually sit with the custodian as well. Yeah. Just so uh, people know, SMA means a single managed account. I think that is that is what you mean. Uh, it is it is something that you know in the future space CTA space it's uh, it, it you know it's quite a usual thing to trade that way, um, and obviously you can do it in 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 the crypto markets as well. So diversified alpha, I mean, just you know when you say you combine a bunch of managed accounts, and I think you've managed there. Some of them are internal, and some of them are external. Um, is it fair to say, and, and you, you can say say no to that, is it fair to say that that is like a pop type of infrastructure that's run inside of Nickel where you have complete oversight of the risk and you see everything because it runs on your technology and on your infrastructure, your account and portfolio management systems? Or is it more a setup where, say, a trader, an independent trader that has a great trading strategy could be sitting somewhere in the world, Australia, for instance, far away from London, trade from there um maybe off of your infrastructure on his or her own infrastructure and you would just be monitoring the risk and the returns so it's uh, a little bit of both but at the moment more of the latter in what you're describing so we 
philosophically, what we're trying to achieve here is to be a great home for the world's best crypto traders. So our job is really to go out and find what we consider to be the very best trading teams across the crypto space. Many of these tend to be prop shops um, that are running their own money and do not have a fund. Um, but it could be a trader off the street or someone who left one of the brand name prop shop funds who's looking for a seat somewhere where they can just sit down and start trading. And so in that scenario, they would be trading using our infrastructure. And in the first scenario with the kind of the prop shop model, they're their own boss, um, they're independent. They just happen to run a managed account for us. But the way in which they're doing that is we will, we have accounts set up at all of the major exchanges. And once we've gone through the due diligence process with the manager and we like the manager, they tell us where they want to trade and we'll set up sub accounts for them across these different exchanges and give them access to the sub account. And they'll have trading permissions for that sub account, but what they can't do is take the capital out. What this allows us to do is also to plug into those same sub accounts with our own APIs and connect that back to our proprietary risk systems. And from those, we're able to see for each manager and their trading, everything that they're doing in real time and therefore monitor the risk in real time across PL, exposures, um, correlations, whatever we would like to kind of compute because we're seeing all of the positions we can. That's clever. Yeah, th there's kind of a two part benefit to that. The first is from the risk side. Um, style drift is a real risk. Um, and when you invest into a fund, you're investing somewhat blindly. Um, you don't really know what's going on month to month inside the fund. Whereas here, if they start stepping out of line, trading a new instrument, um, doing something that they're not supposed to, we'll, we can pick that up immediately. Um, and so from the risk perspective, if there's a risk breach, a style drift, something like that, um, we can pick up on it. We can cut the manager. We can take the accounts over. And then from a what I kind of think of as a right tail perspective, being able to see the managers trading in real time, I think allows us to have much deeper and richer conversations with those managers as we continue that due diligence process post the first investment with them because we can see and understand what they're doing much better and get more comfortable with it. And I think it, it basically makes for a more kind of interesting manager conversation than a more kind of one-way conversation if we were invested in the fund and we're asking them to report back to us what they did and how it went. Hey there, revolutionaries. Thank you for tuning in. For more content like this, head over to realvision.com forward slash crypto and get unlimited access to the most brilliant minds in finance and crypto. Join our community of lifelong learners for exclusive access, unparalleled education, and unbiased insights.